how do you build this? The way we did it is just with a, we take a regular glass slide and then we cut with a razor cutter uh, sheets of double-sided tape with liners and uh, sheets also of plastic. It's like transparencies but of different materials. So the way to assemble it would be we take uh, one of the double-sided tape um, films, it's already pre-cut and we align it uh, and place it on a, on, a, on a glass slide. Actually I would remove from here the liner on the back side so that it actually sticks. So these little trenches will form the buried channels. On top of this we align um, the plastic with the holes so that the holes are exactly at the um, extremes of each trench. So that way if you look at it, you've got the hole, there is a little trench that is connecting to the other hole and this way is how you form the little channels. And the last, the last part that we put is another part of double-sided tape and actually uh, the reason why we put this is so that it will facilitate afterwards when we use the upper part of the channel of the of the device, it will it will help it help it adhere because the other side has also adhesive has got adhesive as well, so that you can remove from here the liner, the other one as well, and then you can close it. So what I'm going to do now is to show how to introduce liquid here inside. It could be cells, and the idea is that it's very simple. Uh, with other type of microfluidic devices, you need to route the liquid inside the chambers where you grow the cells and usually the chips are already closed, so which means that you need to introduce valves and complex plumbing. In this case it's very simple because the chip is open, so you can access it directly with the pipetter. So you come here, you just need to press it, and it goes all the way through. You can do it with the other channels as well. Uh, yeah. So, uh, even if there are small droplets, on the inlets, it doesn't matter because we are going to close the chip. But what, is, what matters is that the liquid has gone through these little um, trenches, the buried channels. At this point, I take this liner out and then it exposes here. This is a sticky double side tape. I do the same on the lid. I just take the liner out and now I'm going to close it. To close it, since it's already pre aligned with the tab, I just need to press it down and do this with the fingers. So the chip is closed now, but in the upper channel we've got these droplets but there's no liquid. At this point what I do is that I use magnetic connectors which are magnets with holes. I place them aligned with the entry holes of the chip. Okay. and then on the other side the same at this point I can start pumping in liquid there it is so the chip is now fully assembled. The upper channel and the lower channels are filled with liquid. And at this point, I can just turn on the pumps.